Are you interested in doing a practice postdoctoral fellowship interview with me? If so, stick around and let's hit it today on this episode of Navigating Academia. What's up, Navigating Academia family? This is Dr. J. Phoenix Singh coming at you with another episode of Navigating Academia, your leading source for guidance on how to advance your career in academia. Now, you guys know that I love you, so please do take a second to smash that like button. And if you're interested in this kind of content having to do with grad school, postdoctoral fellowships, and getting a tenure track position, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And if this video really helps you out, or if you enjoy our content to the point where you really want to support this channel, then please do go ahead and become one of our subscribers on Patreon via the link below. It helps us out a ton in terms of motivating us to be able to generate new content for you. There's exclusive content on there that is not on the regular channel here on YouTube. And in addition to that, you get a personalized one-on-one -on -one shout out. So for this video, it's going to be for Kathy Figueroa. Kathy, we love you. Thank you so much for being such an ardent supporter of the channel. You also do such a tremendous job in terms of asking really valuable questions here that everybody on the channel benefits from. So from all of us here at the channel, we just think that you are awesome. Thank you so much. Now, if anybody is interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one session with me so that we can actually tailor an entire postdoctoral fellowship interview for you, and this involves me going and doing background research specifically for your field, as well as if you tell me a little bit about the work that you want to put in when it comes to your postdoc, maybe you want to apply for some external funding. Maybe you want to publish everything from your doctoral dissertation and your master's thesis before that. You go ahead and let me know and I'm going to tailor an entire, uh, an entire interview just for you then go ahead and book a session with me down here via the website below and we can get going on that. But in the meanwhile, today we're going to have volume three. So if you haven't watched volume one, so one and two, make sure to go and do that after this practice interview. Uh, we're gonna do an entire practice interview for you of real world postdoc interview questions. These are questions that have been sent to me by all of you from this past calendar year cycle of applications. And so at the end of the day, this is really important, y'all, that you send me any questions that you get so we can help the next generation coming after you. This could be questions maybe you remember from grad school uh, or to be able to get in or from your postdoctoral fellowship interview. Um, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. So in a moment, what's gonna happen is you'll see a swoosh on the screen. There will be a black screen after that with some white text that's gonna give you the instructions for how to be able to answer these questions in terms of how long it should take you, how many sentences you should use to be able to respond and so forth. After I ask each question, I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds to be able to answer. Now remember, 30 seconds may seem really tight, right? It may seem really difficult to fit in a lot of an answer into that, but that's what you need to practice. Remember that in terms of whoever's interviewing you, if they want to know more, they'll ask. So make sure you keep it nice and tight. If it gets to the point where you're running out of time, you can always ask something along the lines of, uh, would, would you like to hear more about that? Right, and do it with that supplication tone, right? Don't say something like, oh, would you like to hear more about that? No, you sound like a dick, right? Please, just make it simple, make it, you know, happy, right? Supplication is a great tone to be able to have when it comes to this kind of an interview, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with these instructions that will appear on your screen right now. Welcome, it's good to be able to speak with you today. Uh, as you know, we're going to be doing some interview questions now. So go ahead and take a seat and we'll go ahead and get started here. Okay. Uh, so first, can you tell us a little bit about your interest in our institution and specifically in our program? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And can you tell us about your education so far, uh, especially in how you believe it's prepared you for the rigor of this program here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you describe for us, what are your career goals? Uh, what would you like to do once you've obtained uh, this experience here at our institution? Can you please identify for us a group with whom you believe that you would have a difficult time working? And what strategies would you use to be able to work with such a group? So as you may know, our program is very time intensive. What other commitments do you have right now? And what changes would you have to make to fully prioritize this program? Mm -hmm. Now, taking a look at your CV, your GPA is slightly lower, and the number of publications and conference experience you have uh, is slightly less than we would expect for this program in terms of other applicants. Uh, do you have any explanations for this? Mm-hmm. you say is your favorite scholar in the field right now and why? Can you think of a time that you had to bend the rules in order to accomplish a goal? Can you tell us about that?
A bit of an off-the-wall question. What's one positive thing and one negative thing that you think your family would say about you? Hmm. What is something that we can't tell about you just by looking at you from first appearances? What would you say? Now here at our institution, we're deeply devoted to the principles of diversity and inclusion. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience, possibly, in making somewhere that you worked more diverse or more inclusive? What experience did you have that showed you that this was the right field for you? Can you tell us about a time that you had a problem working with someone and how did it affect your ability to complete projects? How did you solve that problem? Mm -hmm. So let's say that you start a company in the future, let's say. What are three values that would be at the core of that company? So a hypothetical situation for you, uh, if someone you work with, let's say a colleague, a co-worker, uh, says something that's derogatory or shows discrimination, how would you handle that situation? Okay. Uh, at this stage in your career, what exactly are you looking for in a supervisor? Mm -hmm. 
And what might someone who just met you misunderstand about you? What kind of a writer are you? How would you describe yourself in that capacity? Now, it was unclear from your application whether or not you might have any interest in doing any teaching or tutoring here in the department. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your pedagogical style? Last but not least here, do you have any questions for us or would you like to make any final comments before we close today? Good. Well, that completes our interview for today. Thank you so much for coming in. And we'll go ahead and get back to you here within the next several weeks. All right, everybody, I'm hoping that that was helpful for you. This is the end of volume three of this series of postdoctoral fellowship practice interviews. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also be sure to share this video with your friends, colleagues, or students, or post a link to it on social media. It helps us out a ton. In addition to that, become a Patreon supporter of ours. Again, the link is down below in terms of the description box. And also, if you're interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one tailored uh, admissions interview with me, you can go ahead and do that via the personal website below. All right, y'all, have a great rest of the day. And remember to get out there, take chances, and be your best self. Thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here as always. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more in this series on navigating academia, please click on one of these links over here to be able to view more original content. I hope to see you there.